ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Burial. What's going on, lad? So today, we are getting elected as president, or presidents, I guess, of the United States of America. But how we run America is going to be up to us. Will our presidency be that of a sleepy presidency? Will it be Yidge? That's up to us. Ladies and gentlemen, I am your president. So let's see what we got in chat tonight. We Everybody's popping up real quick. What's going on? We got Leon. Leon Kennedy, what's going on? Can't wait for Resident Evil 4, dude. Oh, Ghost. Okay, Ghost. Still the same difference. What's going on, my dude? Uh, Deploy of <laughs> a new co <-hi> <laughs> Aiden, what's up, bud? So I guess we got a new co that, that That came out real fucking quick. All right. Let's go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> Scenario. Make America great again. There are many challenges ahead, Mr. President. Better watch your stuff. You'll either die a... I don't know what the hell that is. Or rule long enough to make America... Again. Okay. I didn't like the look of the very first president I saw. Well, surely you know this kind of people that kept saying, if you don't like it, do better. So, yeah. I was the kind of kid to answer, challenge accepted. Nevertheless, I didn't know I would have to do better again so quickly. But here it was, the thought that if I were president back then, there goes Kennedy, I would have worn a helmet. Yet, growing up, I realized that helmets do not always protect people from dying, but that I would. I also got to know that choosing the right confidant of your secrets is really important. And that mine would have been a locked diary. Time has passed. I got married. <laughs> She's just a friend. <laughs> if that taught me anything about marriage, it's that you should never get married to that man. Back in the day, it was all like a game about doing better than my predecessors. But times got harder, darker. And I thought, maybe instead of trying to win the challenge, I could at least try not to lose. I was full of doubts. What would I do? Would I be able to save people? Or would I only make everything worse? You can never be sure. Well, almost never. What I'm sure of is that I would never have left you, Oppie. Good job, little one. Now you can rest. But I was not done yet. I no longer wished for would and wouldn't. I wanted the choice between do and don't. And I finally received that choice. Do you know what I would do differently if I was the president right now? Nothing. And you know why? Because now I am your president. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to skip the tutorial because we don't need the tutorial. So, I'm going to give you guys a very quick rundown. Now, unfortunately, things are going to get unlocked as we progress forward. Uh, Burial, Opie, if I remember correctly, Opie was the, uh, fuck, the drone that we sent up to Mars, and I guess for whatever reason we left it. Yo, Fish, what's going on, bud? Haven't heard from you in a while. How you been? I think that's who Opie is. Now, one thing you guys need to keep in mind. How is our country doing? If you look right up here, right, up in the top, they, this each represents different parts of our government, how things are working. So, uh, society, what people think, are they happy and they're not happy, politics, industry, eco economics, the military, and diplomacy. Those we gotta keep in track. If any of those hit zero, we lose. It's over. So, here's the rules. This is what we're gonna do. You guys are gonna pick major decisions. You're gonna vote on those major decisions. You guys are gonna pick policies, and you're gonna pick uh, bills to sign. So, or whether or not we should sign them. I'm going to pick the dialogue choices just to keep the game running along. Hello, Mr. President. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the White House. I'm sure that your presidency will be great for America. And so am I. I just hope that we will get along with cooperation and bear fruit. I'm sorry. Well, the cooperation will bear fruit. Yeah. may take some time to adjust, so please do not hurry. We have a lot of time. We'll do what's best for the country. You see, now there you go. Politics went up like 20 points. All right. Well, we have to start working. 
So first we should do is establish a party line so that both the government and the citizens can get accustomed to your values and principles. I understand. Critical issues is your pol political party. How would you like to conduct your own politics? So, we can either pick a party, that being, I'm going to put it in a way where you two won't get mad at me. So, either the party of Yij or the Sleepy Party. I think you know what I'm referring to. Otherwise, our third option is we want to run our own party. So, that is up to you lads. So, do, this is something you guys get to decide. Do we run our own party? Do we go with the Sleepy or do we go Yij? So deploy says we go Yij. Fish is going for Yij as well. That is true, Burl. Even if you lads are on Twitch, you're more than welcome to vote. What do you got? What do, you, do you guys want to go Yij? You want to go sleepy? Or you want to go independent? Now, here's the thing, we can even, what we do, God damn it, Pearl. All right, so I guess we're going huge. So I know perfectly what party I belong to. That's gonna be that of the huge party. Great, but we still need to answer a few questions before we, to, to determine your political views. Blech. Okay. Good morning, Mr. President. I'm here to help you. Please try to answer as many questions as possible so that we can present a consistent image to the public. There are no wrong answers. Are you ready, sir? As ready as all of you. Here we go. By the way, the questions they ask are, um, they're real. Like, they're not, these aren't fictional. These are real questions you're going to see in a minute. Here we go. First question. Do you support the death penalty? Um... That's a hard question. It depends on the crime. I suppose that, yeah, I suppose it depends on, it should fit the crime. Depends. Should the government build on banking regulations or regulate the stock? Um, I'm trying to think what would be best to run the country so people don't hate me. I'm going to say... Keep the government from having too much power. What do you think supplemental nutritional... I... Effectively lower taxes. Um... I think I should go with the... I think Trump would probably say this one, so we're just going to go with this one. What is more important for you? Reliability or individual rights? Individual rights. Why not? If a state was to double its electoral votes, which state would you pick? Hmm. Well, not happy with the way things are running here, so I'm going to say Texas. Why not? Do you think anti-discrimination laws... Yeah, you see what I'm saying? They get real with this. They, they get real with this. Uh... I say, I don't know. Should we normalize relations with Cuba? Well, you guys already said kill the commies. So I'm going to say no. Do you think there should be a wall at the U.S.-Mexican border? YouTube is going to hate me and I'm going to get I'm gonna get banned so quick for this game. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're going to build a wall to make it yet. Oh my god. God help me. Uh, viable for renewable? Yeah, why not? Let's do something viable. I guess. That's it, Miss President. I'll pass you. Okay, thank you. All right. Hello again, Mr. President. Thank you for your answers. We will subject analysis. Okay. Uh, where can I see them? It'll take some time, perhaps tomorrow or after tomorrow. Is there anything else? Yes, there is one more thing. Please take a look at this. This is a standard procedure, but it puts things in order. I have brought a short questionnaire and said, okay, of course, let's do it. So we could be serious, we could be hilarious, or we could be protected. I'm gonna be serious because he has missiles. Um, I, Isabel, I think they walk in and out like that because they're like, I guess, they're like cardboard people. Uh, what should our name be? I'm thinking. Um, president, what's a presidential name? President. Um, 
Be funny? Alright, we'll be funny. Hmm. You, Janus. President Janus. President, he, oh. It's all in my head, yes, absolutely. Wish and cockle? Alright, uh, let's see. Favorite child, I'm gonna say, is Alyssa because, you know, she's not a you know, party animal and doesn't go to nightclubs. Uh, I want a shark. I've said this in one of my videos. I want a shark because I want to get. Because if we become a dictator, I'm gonna put a laser beam on its head. Oh crap, no, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Uh, slipping over banana peel to be a fine as I find Trojan using of others. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, Russian roulette. I have an exit strategy. <laughs> Someone's trying to bribe you. it to be somewhat honest. There's a new secretary. Uh, sure. Be on Let's be honest about that. Uh, areas of interest. Into the sky. We can never go up too high. Uh, Vice President. Friendship is power. Because... Or what, what is this? The exhibition of the President's old book. Some find their childhood notes embarrassing, while others enjoy rummaging about the good old days. Our President must belong to the latter, since his first books will be exhibited in the White House. Among them, one can find hidden gems, like the President's Encyclopedia, the pre with the President's own drawings and the margins. Uh, I used to give the President a mustache and crooked teeth. Uh, we'll do this one. Trying to get through this real quick. I cut down the types of food. There's only mostly unhealthy ones. We'll do that. Why not? Um, leave a nation. So I don't see why I should bend under pressure and resign. Sure. I think we're good. I think we're good. Absolutely fish. That, is, that would be the best. Okay, here we go. Now, this is where you guys come in. Our electoral promises. What are we promising the people, chat? You guys pick. So, our options. Human mission to Mars. Urgent reform of policing. Build the wall. I think I already know where you guys are going. Solve the opioid crisis. New war on terror. And strict gun control. Our minor goals that we have to pick, we have to pick three of them. Now, my, okay, so the first one we have to pick one. The bottom one we have to pick three. So, out of these, we can pick three. Unparalleled diplomacy. Trucking along. World-class politics, hang in there. Most powerful and not great, te not terrible. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys, each of these do have an effect on these numbers. But I'm not gonna show you them because I think it'd be more fun just to kind of throw it in there and hope for the best. So we're all gonna vote for it and whatever we vote, whatever sticks, that's what stays. So right now we got two for the wall and one for the opioid crisis. Okay, you know, hold on, I think everybody's voting for different things. Let's start off first. Let's start with the main goal. Let's start with the main goal. We can only pick one of these, one of these on top, only one. So we've got two for the wall and... Yeah, okay, so two for the wall, one for the opioid crisis. So right now we're looking at build the wall, but let's start with, let's start with this. Let's see what else we get. got two for Mars, two for the wall. We're going to, unless somebody comes in and breaks a tie, we are going to flip a coin. That is true. We can go to Mars and save Opie. Ima imagine if the government was run like this. Hey, so uh, too many people are voting, so we're just going to flip a coin. Not flipper zero. Yep, 
coin. There we go. All right, flipping that coin. Heads for the wall, tails for mission to Mars. Tails. So we're going to Mars. Now then, guys, vote for the minor goals. What do you guys want? Let's see what everyone says. We'll go with the more common one. So whichever one comes up most. <laughs> All right, so remember, the mi the minor goals are like the main goal. They will have an effect on our country. Like, say, we picked Mission to Mars, so that increases uh, popularity within the people and then popularity within politics. Well, you guys can pick three of these. So, on my main goal, we can only pick one, but you guys can pick three. Okay, so Burl says, hang in there, most powerful and world in class. Fish also wants most powerful and world. All right, so yeah, so Fish and Burl are basically calling for the same stuff. Uh, Isabella, the difference in them is their effect. So being that we've already picked, I'm gonna show you. So for example, human mission to Mars increases popularity within the public and the politics 100 points whereas build the wall would have increased military by 200 and in industry by 150 so these minor goals will have similar effects but i'm not showing you those effects because i want you guys to pick i don't want i don't want it to be a numbers game i want it to be that sounds good so let's go for it All right, so it seems like generally everybody wants most powerful. So somehow, oddly enough, we reduce. Oh yeah, by the way, I should say that minor goals reduce our goals. The so most powerful is gonna take us down 100. Uh, what else we got? Ploy, everybody wants world class. So we're gonna go with world class. Bakira, I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. I apologize if I'm new. But I don't think that's an option. <laughs> World class politics. Uh, what else? The most powerful. We got Burl for hanging in there. So we got to pick one more. Oh, deploy wanted diplomacy. Uh... So majority wants trucking along, so that's where we got. So trucking along increases our industry. So actually, these are the stats that have increased so far. So uh, industry went up 250 points. The economy went up. Thank. Um. Hmm, oddly enough, it didn't reduce. So all right, cool. Well, we we might be able to fix schools. Well, we'll see. But you guys will see that in a minute. All right. Thank you. I'd love to get. I uh, appreciate your help. We're just going to be nice to our staff, because we don't want people hating us. That was our first day in office. We get... Alright. Mr. President, I'm afraid that we're... Well, we're screwed. Ah, oh, shit, by who? We currently have an epidemic of effluenza. It's awful. It's awful. Hundreds of rich people suffer from its symptoms. Okay, sucks for the rich. Affluenza is an inability of an individual to understand the consequences of their actions because of their social status and economic privilege. Okay, but what are the dangers of it? Maybe we should just let the rich... No, I, we shouldn't really let them act. Yeah, can you just simplify? Rich assholes do stupid and dangerous shit. I like how, I like how she dumps it down. Rich assholes do stupid and dangerous shit, and they think they can get away with this because they're rich assholes. Oh. Why should we be scared of this epidemic? Theoretically, it shouldn't be scary because we're pretty rich. But poor people are getting mad and dangerous. And that is never a good thing. We don't want any revolutions here in the U.S. Um, 
I agree we should do something to cure this epidemic and decrease the number of rich assholes. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we're creating a new tax. I'm creating... Okay, never mind. It's gonna disappear. We're, we're creating a new tax. The people love us. The industry's going great. Okay. We're gonna make a speech. You guys make the speech. Is it gonna be serious, funny, outrageous, or weird? Your call. Okay, Isabel says weird. Everybody's picking one out of the other. Come on. Gotta break that tie. Fish, it looks like you're gonna be the tiebreaker. Unless you're gonna pick a different one than everybody else, and then we're in a hole. Alright, so we're going for serious. Let's see, how do people like it? Let's see, effluence is a serious disease and rich people should pay for treatment. Simple as that. If you take our money, we're no longer rich, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, destroy this rich mofo. <laughs> is that where my tax dollars are going? <laughs> so, I, I don't think anything was that bad. I don't think it came out that bad. But we're looking good. I think, so far, our country's running very well. Alright. Okay, so this is something we can pass. And you guys are going to get to choose whether or not to pass this. Ensuring the rights to defend your property and privacy. So we're going to reply. We're going to... We're going to take a look at it. Get all tutorials. Okay. So you guys get to pick whether or not we're enacting this bill or we're throwing it out. Ensuring the rights to defend your property and privacy. By the authority vested in me as president by the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America, it is hereby ordered as follows. As long as the incident took place on their private property, U.S. citizens that were forced to resort to violence in order to protect their property or privacy from being encroached upon will be deemed to have acted out of necessity until proven otherwise without a shadow of a doubt. All right, so Burial says pass it. What else? Who, who, who does anybody disagree? Any, anyone else second that motion? Absolutely, fish. All right, so so far it seems like majority rule says to sign it. So, as I've done before in previous. We're going to give it the presidential penis of approval. It's the edge. And we're accepting that shit. More vi- oh no. <laughs> More violence. Since the last president's executive order making- Making killing people on private property is basically semi-legal, gun violence in the U.S. has rapidly increased. Yeah, a president thinks it's not that big of a deal. Look, when someone shows up on your property uninvited, you have a God-given right to do whatever the hell you want. That's exactly why private properties exist in the first place. <laughs> didn't ever you... Didn't any of you see the Let's Purge movies? Well, I don't know if that went very well, but okay. Let's get down to business. To defeat the haters, we have a great for you then. And if we don't screw anything up, the following four will too. Exactly, dude. However, it'll be worthwhile to start doing something. Have you thought about changes in our great country that you'd like to implement? Uh, yeah, I already have some ideas. I think so. You guys are giving me quite a few ideas. All right, tell me. You can't be passive if you want to win people's hearts. You have to act. Preferably change something or introduce something great. We will use your name, add a word, and that's it. Making history. What do you suggest? Oh, it's more of a question of what you suggest. Then we'll implement it. 
I have some documents here. Well, it's fine, interesting. Any advice? Remember, nothing is free. Investments cost money, so don't drive the country into ruin because of some improving the situation. You'll only ruin it. Also, try to make decisions that'll improve the country. Cool. Absolutely deploy. Earl, you nasty. You got some weird ideas going on. Alright, so he's going to give us some documents to sign, I think. Hmm. Here you go. This is up for you. This is you guys. Okay. So, in the short of this, we have, it says right here, four out of four projects, right? So we have to put points into each of these sectors. And add a certain, after putting enough in, after putting enough available uh, tokens in, we can then upgrade these. Okay, so you guys, right now we only have two points. We only have two points pointed to something right now. Migration control, education, law enforcement, public infrastructure, exports, imports, espionage, war expenditure, and military industry. So you guys have two points to play with. Where are we putting these points? Are we putting them all into something? Are you spreading them around? Remember, we don't have... We can mix around. We don't have to dedicate to anything. We can jump around. It's up to you guys. So you guys have two points to play with. So far, it's looking like we're going to definitely put at least a point into education. Deploy wants education and ice. Okay. Think of this like a skill tree. We put points into the tree... And then from there, we can increase it. So, we'll, earn, we'll get more of these action points every day. So, don't worry. Oh, come on, Isabella. We all need a little bit of nuclear weapons once in a while. Alright, so we're definitely at least putting one into education. Now, Deploy said he wanted to put something into immigration control. What about the rest of you? Let's vote for that. We got one more point left. Are we going to go for... What are we going for? We got one more point to play with. Now, remember, every day we get more points. So, don't... If you don't... If we don't put it in now, we can always put it in later. And that sounds wrong. But you get what I'm saying. All right. Isabella says both for education. What about the rest of you lads? I know Deploy wanted... One into immigration... Where do we put the second point? So far, Burial and Isabel say both into education. Okay, Fish is saying law enforcement. Alright, well, so far, majority rule is coming up to education, so right now we're putting them into education. Now, remember, like I said, every day we get more points, so even if we don't put it in today, we'll put it in tomorrow. I think that's it for today. At least now we got more action points. Alright, and we also have a new bill to sign. Now, we could actually just ignore this bill, but let's see. Establishment of American Alignment Prevention Council. All right, let's see what this is all about. Actually, don't officers already have infantry fighting vehicles? Some states, I think, already do. All right, chat, here it is. <clears throat> Establishment of American Alignment Prevention by the authority. Okay, we've already heard this. A new branch of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services is to be established. Their primary task will be to implement health crisis prevention programs, such as Providing nutrition, they actually messed up the grammar right there because they made it all in one word. Providing nutrition, distributing supplementation, or promoting healthy lifestyles, thus minimizing the societal cost of various pandemics.
Alright, let's see. Are we passing this or are we drunken it? And also, the play, honestly, if we don't have a right and If we don't have World War III, I'll be surprised. Are we passing this bill? Are we passing the bill in front of us? Essentially, this is something for preventing health crises, providing nutrition, shit like that. Basically, like Burrow said, it's basically if Obamacare happened. Fish does make a good point. We would open up a new, they would be opening up a new department, a new uh, branch of the government. So, right now I'm going to say Burl says yes, Fish says no, so we got one and one right now. Deploy, Isabella, what do you think? Alright, Isabella, we got two. Two and one right now, so right now we're looking to pass it. I mean, generally, Deploy, I guess it would be four Americans, so... I guess, then yes? So, it seems like majority is saying yes to this. And like I said, generally what this is, like, remember, Deploy, we are running the country. So, whether or not it's for Americans is literally up to you and I. It's literally up to us. So, yeah, this would be for Americans. Fish is right, though. If we want to establish a dictatorship, less branches. But, we can somehow gain control. Maybe, but for now... We gotta make people love us so it gets the presidential penis of approval. Good morning, Mr. President. We have a serious issue to resolve. I'm listening. I'm glad to hear that, sir. We need to be in good shape to take care of this matter. Tomorrow will be a month since Detroit shooting, and we have to plan our actions. Meaning, as you remember, sir, exactly a month ago, a Muslim terrorist, oh boy, attacked the shopping mall in Detroit. 50 people have died in the shooting, and ever more were hurt. Firstly, we have to decide how to honor this bitter anniversary. And secondly, yes. Well, secondly, we have to think about citizen security. We could consider tightening up the regulations of immigration policies. All right, I'm all ears. What we got? We could suspend immigration from regions of the world with a history of terrorism. Wow, this is literally a Trump option. Oof. Oof. And this does have an effect, so... Alright, so it's likely to improve the military, but piss off the public. Alright, what's the other option? Other less invasive but controversial option would be changing the refugee emission program. Um, okay, so one increases. Either way, they're both shit tier answers. All right, let's think about it. I think maybe we should go for that option. Um, I should be there in person. That would definitely help people, and that will definitely. Okay. All right, lads, you're gonna write a speech. All right, um, all right, can I just drop, oh, did I goof? All right, so I, all right, so, all okay. right, we have three options, pick from. Um, I don't know how the hell we're going to do this, so honestly, I'm just going to YOLO, um, because I thought it was going to be like the last thing, but okay, I'm just going to make this easy. All right, that should be fine. I'm sure people will like this. It just kind of... Okay, everyone liked it. We didn't... Okay. Now, back to projects. Where do we put our points? Fish, I don't know how that would work. That'd be extremely costly. All right, so where are we putting our points? We got two more points to play with. Where do we put both of them?
All right, so deploy says the I, uh, immigration and military. I got two leads for the police department, so we might be going. We might be going law enforcement here. Wait, do we have the political board yet? Uh, we don't have the world map yet. All right, I'm going to show you guys that in a minute, but. Well, okay. Wait, wait, hold on. So, Burial, Fish, do you guys, do you want both points into police department, or do you want to split it up between one and one? Like, do you, do you want to, how do you want to do that? All right, so Burial wants two into law enforcement. I'm assuming Fish probably wants the same. Okay, so yeah, you guys want the same. All right. Um... All right. So I guess we're going to dump both of them into this. That is true, though. The, the play is right. We are kind of neglecting the border. But it does increase military. Or it should increase military. Alright. Gun safety seminars. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm ready to sign this one. I don't, I don't even need to read it. Okay. So you guys get to pick whether or not we sign this bill. Regardless of their state origin, all legal entities interested in organizing seminars aimed at teaching gun safety to American citizens may now apply for federal funding. The seminars must still comply with the corresponding state laws. What do you guys think? So far, we're looking for that presidential seal of penis. <laughs> Danny thinks, <laughs> what's up, Danny? I, I think we're good. So wait, 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 are we not giving this the presidential penis of approval? Could also be a turret too. All right, I'm just gonna, because I, I do agree. Maybe it'll drop gun violence down because apparently gun violence is a problem. Um, all right, projects. We have four points now to play with. Four points. Where are we putting them? Remember, we have migration control, education, law enforcement, public infrastructure, exports, imports, espionage, war expenditure, and military industry. Where are we putting all th four of these points? Now remember, we, we can mix them up. We can mix them up. So if you want to throw certain points into certain places. I think just to make it easier, if you want... See, we, we need a strong military for that. We could take the world though, that would be nice. 
Do we have an option for travel? All right, so you know what? It seems like military is our, our go-to, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna drop one into ice. We probably should throw that in there anyway. Um, everyone's saying military, so we'll focus on military stuff, so espionage probably has something to do with it. Put that there. There we go. Mr. President, it's come to my attention that you are entirely neglecting international relations. I've been busy, nowhere to burn. Many things are going on worldwide. We should be participating in them to maintain our hegemon status. In that case, what do I do? React, gain, influ or gain influence, invest, and intervene. You even have access to nuclear suitcase. That, however, I don't re recommend that particular one. Uh, the case has caught my attention. Please start calmly. We want to wait to roll out the big guns. Over time, we'll be able to afford more and more. The projects you can, you run can open up many opportunities. So if you want to go wild and show who's boss here, uh, keep that in mind. Sure, give me that map. You'll all be proud of me. Now you guys get to see the world map. Here we go. Okay. So this is the way effectively this game works, right? At least in terms of world politics. Um... Uh, We'll see it later on as we progress, but a country will have something pop up, like something will happen, like, like, okay, in one video I did, something happened with Iran where they were involved in shady dealings and we stopped it, but they weren't happy with that. So it ended up making them hostile with us. So I ended up increasing our military budget and then we established a military base in Saudi Arabia and then we invaded Iran. So, actually, does it say what our military, oh, it does say what our military power, so their power... Wow, Russia's power is much higher than us. That's problematic. China's is retardedly powerful. That's terrifying. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to... Um... Well, okay. Oh, by the way, I should mention this. We cannot just invade, nor can we just nuke. There's a reason for that. Military bases. To establish bases that kind of, you know, get friendlier with people. We need to unlock this through military industry. To get invasions to conquer people, we need to increase our war expenditure. And nuclear weapons, we also need apparently increase war expenditure. Now, specifically what we need to use to unlock... Like here, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about, right? So, for example, war exp uh, for this one, right? Let's go to projects. We have to increase war. We put enough into here, and then we'll be able to progress on this tree. And then from there, we can invade. That's how the world map works. Good morning, Mr. President. Have I come back with the papers we talked about? Okay, please tell me more. Do you remember our conversation about taking up security measures to ensure nothing like the tragedy in Orlando happens again? Didn't he say Detroit? Not Orlando? But okay. Uh, what do you have in mind? Well, I've prepared two options. You either suspend immigration from regions or... Rethink of Refugee Administration. Well, this one seems to not... Oh, we can't suspend immigration, so I guess... Uh... Oddly enough, this seems to affect our military. I don't know if it's going to... I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm going to say this one. Damn it, that brought down our military. That brought up our military. Okay, cool. Alright. So, oh, one thing I should mention. One thing I do need to mention. These points, these action points. These are also affected on the world map. So, if, say, we want to invade Russia... We can, if we use up all of our points in the skill tree, we cannot act here until the next day. So just keep that in mind. So whatever we do with these points, they're limited day to day. All right, ensuring humane incarcerations and interrogations. I mean, under my presidency, I, I would give people the choice of having either cruel or unusual punishment. Okay, so you guys get to pick whether or not we approve this or deny it. All interrogation and incarceration procedures are to be subject to new transparency regulations in order to ensure 
the humane treatment of both American citizens as well as foreign criminals apprehended by U.S. forces. The executive personnel of a given detention facility shall be held personally responsible for any transgressions of this law. So, do we approve this or do we deny it? Right now, Burrell says approve it. Deploy wants to make it cruel and weird. Alright, so it seems like majority rule wants us to be cruel and weird to criminals, so it gets the presidential penis of approval. It looks like a demented hot dog, but okay. Shmee, but it works. Good morning, Mr. President. How are you feeling today? Not as good as ever. Wonderful. We have quite an important matter to discuss today, so I'm glad to see you in top shape. It's time to start working on your public image, sir, especially in the context of your re-election. It's true, Mr. President, but in your case, it's quite special because your predecessor was forced to drop his candidacy just months before the election. You sort of inherited his campaign, skipping several major steps of the process. Okay, that makes sense. According to our research, most people do not have a strong opinion about you yet. We'd like to take this opportunity and start working on building your image and re-election strategy before sensationalized media outlets beat us to it. I think it might be too late for that. Well, I'm sure that despite having been in office for no more than a year, you've already had a number of criticisms leveraged against you, Mr. President. And to be perfectly honest with you, it's only going to get worse. In this day and age, nobody goes through an election cycle without their reputation being untarnished. What we're hoping to achieve is to get in front of these attacks. How? By showing the people what kind of person you really are. Of course, the campaign is just one small piece of the puzzle. But more people will vote if they feel that you share their values. I see. So what exactly do you need from me? I just want you to answer a few questions about the campaign, Mr. President. We need to make sure it's aligned with your particular sensibilities. Sounds simple enough. Of course, just one last thing, Mr. President. Don't feel obliged to display every possible virtue. Not only will it dilute our message, but it might also be used against you if, for any reason, you fail to live up to the standard you set for yourself. Okay, let's start. With your identity as a politician, sir, as a leader, what emotion would you like to inspire our constituents? Uh, let's spark some hope, make people hopeful. There are several sentiments, okay. Firstly, there's a growing distrust towards our institutions, which are often believed undermine the rights and freedoms of regular citizens. Would you lean on such libertarian sentiments? Um, well, we're going for huge. So, drain the swamp. Okay. On the other hand, many Americans believe that there are more immediate threats, both foreign and domestic, putting our nation at risk. This demographic would typically like to see their leader express a stronger stance on the matter of order and security. Uh, keep my people safe is the biggest responsibility. Sure. Hey, Alyssa. We're going huge. It's big. Um. Yeah, no, no one can beat our success story. We're, we're amazing. We're America. We're big. We're huge. It's amazing. Um, I won't worry about that. Numerous businesses will line up to share the support. My party will take good care of the number one guy. Well, I've always been a man of the people, so let's try state funding. Sure. Okay. As I mentioned, the campaign is still in its infancy, so... We need to know what to expect from you when drafting a strategy. I hope that you manage to upload these beliefs. Okay, cool. So he should dip out. Okay, so we have four points to spend in our projects. Once again, lads, we have four points. You can spend them however you want. Majority rule says how they get spent. We could put these four points into migration control, education, law enforcement, public infrastructure, exports, imports, espionage, 
poor expenditure, and military industry. You guys vote, majority rule. Where are we putting all four points? If you want all four points into just one thing, just say that one thing. If you want them in multiple, tell me where you want them. So deploy says into immigration, which I think we already put one in at one point. Yeah, we already have one in there. Look. Okay, so. Fish wants it all in the military budget. So we've got all for ice and all for military. What else, guys? What do you guys want? Let's do it. Okay, so deploy standing with fish on the military. All right, so military and police. So say two and two. Well, no, Alyssa, remember, we have four points. So we can spend them however. So if you want to do, we could do like, say, two in law enforcement, two in education. We could do one in immigration, one in education, and so forth. So... All right, so Danny wants to sprinkle it in between military and education. Deploy Burl wants education as well as Alyssa. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Military education seems to be in mil... So, what do we need to get the ability? Because I know what you guys want to do. So we need to get work spender up. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Two in law, two in education. So we'll put, we'll throw two in for education because our people are probably retarded as it is. And then we're gonna put war expenditure because we wanna get, there you go. Oh, okay, so here we go. Oh, we have two things to get involved in. So in Tunisia, you guys get to pick this one too. So how does our country respond to another country's actions? Groundwater levels are hitting historic lows in Tunisia, destroying what's left of its agriculture. I'm not going to tell you what it's going to do, you guys just got to pick. But we can either send them help, we can sell them help, or sucks to be them, we can't help them at all. Your call, what did we do? True, okay, true that deploy, I should take that back, you're right. But you see, deploy, you know what? The one thing I, okay, so, the one thing I will agree with Fish, if we sell them help, then we're making money. So, that would still be America first. And remember, in this case, it's just groundwater, so apparently it would be just more of an agricultural issue than a military issue. So we could sell them help. So if anything, they'd be buying a service from us. So they're still paying us. It would go into our economy. But you see, deploy. If we if we sell it, then we can use that money to fix Flint's water. But no, I that, unfortunately that's not a thing in this country. Like, I'm sure when it comes time to, we could probably do stuff like that. I'm not sure exactly how real this game gets. So it seems like majority wants to sell it, so we're gonna sell them help, and that's going to increase our economics. Um, however, if it fails, Tunisia's gonna be pissed. It was successful. It worked. Now Somaliland. What the fuck? Okay. The president of Somaliland has left a drunken message on your voicemail, professing his everlasting love. Oh boy. <laughs> so apparently the president of Somaliland has left us a drunken message telling us he loves us. So we can either say that we have quite a story to tell on our next presidential dinner uh, we always found him kind of cute. Don't you think he's still on the line? Do you think he's still on the line? 
Or, uh, new phone, who this? <laughs> I wonder if this ever actually happens. All right, well, we have to pick for one of these three options. So, I, I guess for Danny, I'm guessing he wants to go for the middle option. Well, we can't blackmail the guy. Um, so, we can either... Okay, we can either be ignorant to it, we can go with it, or we can make fun of the guy. So, da so right now, we technically have a vote for the middle option. We got two for the cute option. I guess Alyssa's going with it as well, so I guess we're gonna go with this. <laughs> it actually hurts our relationship with uh it, it oh actually no never mind. It hurts our politics, but it actually makes them uh, as an ally, so there you go. So, so now now they're now they're an ally of the United States. Okay, cool. So we can set up a trade agreement. Oh, okay. So we can also set up trade agreements with other countries. So that's something to keep in mind. So if ever need be. Um, so there you go. That's our decisions going forward for that. Mr. President, I hope that you... I still got the giggles. Mr. President, I hope that you've gotten used to this office already. There is some work ahead of us or rather cooperation. Okay, what are you talking about? Well, you already have been appointed the entire cabinet of the United States, and now they sh should be up and running. Left alone, however, they may be ineffective. Uh, okay, I agree. What do you suggest? I suggest looking at them and gauging their moods. Check if they're motivated enough. Your decisions can affect their performance, so it's essential to keep it under control. Can I influence their effectiveness? If they see that you're doing what they themselves believe in, they'll stand behind you. It's pretty cynical, but shared in interest bring people together. And what if we don't agree? Well, it would be better to steer them away. Control is a form of trust. So don't be afraid. A lousy advisor can do more harm than help. All right. So we get to see our cabinet. Um, now, I can't affect these people yet. But apparently she's not... Oh, wait. All right, so this is her views of us. Um, I think. But apparently she doesn't like me. This dude likes me. She's whatever. This dude likes me. She doesn't like me at all. So these are the people that... Oh, these are my close advisors, apparently. But that just gives us an idea. Now, I can technically bump them out, but I need to replace them with somebody. Right now, I don't think we have anybody to replace them with. All right, Burrell, have a good night, bro. See you later. Thank you for joining. All right. Projects, people. Where are we putting these points? More points. We got five points to put them in. Where do you want them? Alright, so Alyssa says all for education. I'm 
trying to get an idea of where we put. I know Fish wants more military. I'm trying to gauge. I'm kind of trying to gauge this. What's fair? So, I definitely want to put at least one into migration. Everybody wants education, so we'll put two into education. Another one into migration, I guess, and then the last two we'll put into the military work spender. Oh, there we go. Actually, no, go back. Now, now we can unlock one of these two. We could do standard issue equipment, or we could do optical reconnaissance satellites. Which one do you guys want to do? But remember, we can't conquer without this one. So one way or another, we need this. We do need standard issue equipment, but we can always get this one and then go back to this one later. So your guys call. Standard huge, absolutely. Alright, so... I guess we're going standard. So now... I mean, we've spent all of our points, but now... Yep, we have the option to invade another country. So we can just go ahead and invade Iran if we wanted to, technically. I think the rule is we have to invade... A, okay. This allows you to invade a country. Invading cost upkeeps per turn. If you won't have enough statistics, you will lose. Winning changes a country to allied. Wait, did I not? Oh, we can also put into here. I didn't even notice we had a point for this. So for education. Now then, for education. We can do free educational material, private educational contractors, or exclude humanities from standard tester, uh, standardized testing. Which one of these we're going with? That's actually a good question. Can we just... All right, so Danny says free educational materials. Well, Isabel, which one of these three do you want? I, I know you said more education, but I'm saying which one of these three options do you want? Where does he scout? Oh, no, oh, um. Okay, so I guess two for the uh, materials then. All right, Fish says exclude. Now, remember, we can always go back to these. It's just what are we putting more? You gotta remember, look at it like this. It's not that we can't do it later. It's that what are we putting our priority in now? And give it like that. Deploy, what do you think, bud? Alyssa? Where do you guys want to put, put uh, our point? No, no, okay, no, no. Deploy. What I mean is, right now, we could pick out of these three. We don't have any more action points to use, but we did earn a token to upgrade one of these. So we could either pick free edu educational... Our options are free educational materials, private educational contractors, or excluding humanities from standardized testing. So I think majority is going to go for free educational material. Alright, so now we can end the day. Mr. President, how do you feel about coca? Oh no. Are we talking about chocolate or are we talking... You know... I love it. It's probably the best thing God's ever created. How do I, yeah? How do I feel? Either of these options sound like okay. Oh, it actually helped. Okay, sir. I'm not talking about the beverage, but I'm oh Coca-Cola, but Coca seeds. Without them, we would have no such thing as chocolate. I get it now. Why are you asking me about this? Is this a test? Is just my life one? I'm failing. I'm asking about Coca because 
recent flooding in Cote de Lavoir destroyed many coca trees. And that's a bad thing, right? Because no coca trees, coca trees means people are deeply unhappy. Very much, Mr. President. Fewer coca trees there means fewer coca beans here in the U.S. Which also means no chocolate and no hot chocolate. And so on. Stop it right there. Can't be bad, that bad, right? It's not like this flood suddenly erased half the world's coca supply. Cote de Lavoir is the world's largest producer, accounting for more than 40% of the- Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm sorry, they did wipe out half of the world's supply of chocolate. Alright, say one more, just tell me what we should do, become- Alright. Seems like people- Okay, so, politics will love us for this. But the- wait, Is this hell? We're trapped in a hell of our own- Let's go with this one for the fact that it's- Okay, because we need to get our politics up. That seems to fail miserably. All of these fail. So... Let's hit this one. Yep. Oh, shit. Oopsies. We broke a promise. Okay. So we got a new bill for you lads to sign. You guys get to choose. Wait, listen. Be careful. Why? What, what, what did I do? What did I goof? Okay. You got guys, either reject this or deny this. Your call. As the planet's surface slowly turns into an uninhabitable desert, I've decided we should start building a system of interconnected water bases. It looks like underwater life is the only option for future generations. So, are we the states of Mar uh, the state of marine environments. Oh, okay, that's what it is. So, yeah, but are we approving this or are we denying this? So we can. So basically, it's uh, we should start building a system of interconnected underwater bases. So are we gonna basically build? Yeah, water world. Are we building water world? All right, so we got two for rejecting it. <laughs> if ice is down there, then yes. <laughs> so let's see, we've got two for rejecting it. I'm gonna say three for accepting it, am I right? Danny, are you for it or against it? Alright, you're for it, so majority rule says we're gonna go for it. So it gets the big penis. It doesn't look like a penis, but okay. Oh yeah, we can invade a country now. What's... What is their military looking like anyway? What is, uh... Oh, they, they have nothing. All right, so we can invade. Now we have the ability to invade another country if we want. We have five action points. However, remember, we cannot establish military bases yet. We don't have exports and we don't have nukes. So, your guys call. We could do some goofy shit in the world or we could put all of our points into something here. You guys make the decision. I want to hear ideas. Holy crap, deploy wants to just go for it. Actually, I'm curious. What is... Um, well, actually, no. Can we... No, we cannot deploy... Uh, we can't invade Mexico. They're just distrustful. It has to be a country that's actually hostile. Because here, just for shits and giggles, if I go... Oh, fuck! Uh... Uh... Never happened. Never happened. We have to... Never happened. Uh-oh. Uh oh, it was not supposed to work. That wasn't supposed to work. That was not supposed to work. <laughs> oh. 
What's what's their military look like anyway? What's their military power? Uh, they are a lot lower than us, so we definitely can hold the line. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put stuff into our military right now because we definitely need. Yeah, we we, we, def we definitely need to be able to fund the war effort by next turn. Like we we we're, okay, we're, ladies and gentlemen, the United States is now at war. We are now unintentionally at fucking war. Okay, so while we're at war with Mexico, we have two new... Okay. Oh, boy. Alright, so you guys get to pick. A cardinal from Malawi has just been announced as the new pope. Our options. Before I acknowledge the man, I need to see if he does anything to address the numerous scandals plaguing the Catholic Church lately. Can't hurt to congratulate the second most powerful man on earth. Or, eh, cool, I guess. So, which one do we go with? For the new Pope, are we... Do we need to see what he's about? Are we just going to congratulate him? Or do we give a shit? Alright, so Isabella just says cool. Uh, Danny, I accidentally invaded Mexico. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to work! Amen to that, Alyssa. So which which one do you guys want to go for? Do we go for the top, the middle, or the bottom? Uh, Isabella says bottom. Fish says middle. Ploy says top, so we got two for the top. Oh, actually, the ploy wants a bottom. All right, never mind. So... Majority, okay. All right, so majority is middle. So we're congratulating them that helped the people, but politics didn't really work. Okay, so Danny, what I did, I'm not gonna do it again. I used our AP. So I was like, I'm just gonna show you guys what not, you know, what doesn't work. So I went ahead and I just clicked Mexico, and then all of a sudden I just saw fighter planes fly overhead. Um, it should have said that it needs. If I remember correct, oh no. Uh oh. Hey Somaliland. Wait. Okay, so they're allied with us. Everybody's open. Just trust. Okay, so no, no, that just me. That's just country. Okay. Okay, but yeah, Mexico is at war with us now. We're, we're at war with Mexico. Um. Hey, don't you not like me? Mr. President, we have no time to waste. An armed man with a time bomb on his chest is currently robbing one of the banks here in Washington. He refuses to negotiate with the police. He wants you to meet his demands personally. What demands? It might sound a little strange, but he wants you to order 19 burgers, 19 fries, and 19 sodas. Is he insane? Uh... Yeah, screw him. Call the National Guard. Sir, it's a hostage situation. We're not sure how many people are trapped inside the bank. What using force can be hazardous? We don't negotiate with terrorists. Oh, people don't like that. It's your call, sir, but just do it. I'm sure it'll all work out. Oh. Well, we got him. Yesterday in Washington, D.C., an armed bank robber tried to steal a reported $100,000 in cash from a local bank. While the robbery was still in progress and police surrounded the building, the robber decided to force the president to order some burgers, french fries, and sodas for the hostages. That was intent, that was indeed really nice of him, 
However, the president said he doesn't negotiate with criminals. The robber was shot in the chest, but he managed to kill two hostages and injure three more before he finally died. Oops. All right. Okay, so where do we put these five points? So far, the war effort ain't taking too much of a toll on us. No, 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 dude. Wait, wait, five dead or instead of... Exactly. Only three, only two died. Those are numbers I can live with. All right, so Fish wants it in military industry. Uh, let's see. Alyssa says law enforcement. Yeah, we're gonna at that point we're gonna need to bang up law enforcement and mil. Okay. Well, considering we're at war and we definitely want nukes. Um. Majority wants law enforcement. Hmm. I'm trying to get an idea how to do this. Okay, I'll put one into immigration, two into law enforcement, and then the rest in the military budget. So two here. Migration control, and then two into law enforcement. Okay, now then, you guys get to pick. War expenditure. Do we use our new token that we just got for war expenditure, mind you, on remote warfare? Safety numbers or optical reconnaissance? That is true. Space Force is on the military budget. All right. So Fish says remote warfare. What do you guys think? These are our three options to pick from. Optical, safety numbers, or remote warfare. Fish says remote. Danny says remote. Alright, majority rule is remote warfare. Did we get nukes yet? Damn it, not yet. How's the war going anyway? Can't tell if we're winning or losing. Oh, the war ends in three turns. Okay, cool. Yeah, we should survive for three turns. Oh. What's going on in uh, Argentina? Local investigation has proved that the Catholic Church has prior knowledge of many of their priests' crimes. So, we have three options. We can either publicly condemn the Catholic Church. We can invite the Cardinal from Argentina. Um... I'm sure you wouldn't like the scandal that targets the relationship of our nations. Or this might turn ugly. Let's just not touch it at all. So we can either condemn them, backroom deals, or just ignore it altogether. Alright, Fish wants to invite him. What do the rest of you guys think? Okay, Deploy says to condemn him, so we got one and one. Danny says to invite him over to talk. Alright. So it's one and two. God damn it, Danny.
<laughs> God damn. Jesus, man. I'm sure, it, you know. I, I think, I can tell you, those kids probably ain't on their knees to pray. Oh boy. Well, Alyssa, you want to break up uh, any word? Otherwise, right now we're looking at inviting the Cardinal over. That's a good question, Fish. Probably, as he'd still be son. <laughs> All right, so majority still stands with this one. And oddly enough, Argentina is our friends. So that, that actually, no, they made them our ally. So that actually worked in our favor, even though they were a flawed democracy and a repressed economy. Um, Mexico's power is still decreasing. All right, back to projects. We've got six points to play with. Where are we putting them? Six points, where do you want them, guys? I know Isabella wants education, so... Where else? Where else are we putting them? We may have goofed. We might have goofed. So, I think we can only pick. From what I'm looking at, it looks like we can only pick four of these. And it's going to be a tree, so right now we're forced to go Space Force. And not, so, we might never get the nuke. We may have goofed here a little bit. All right, so Fish still wants more military. Ice wants education, ice and military. Well, no, deploy, I don't think we can fix it. That's, that's the problem, I don't think we... Yeah, we might have goofed a little bit. Oh, I'm curious. Can... How much of a load? I'm just curious. Was during the oh wow, really? Is it during the playtest? Holy shit! All right. All right. So we're gonna put. One into education, one into migration. Oh, guys, you can vote for migration control now. Modernize immigrant vetting procedures or tax cuts for U.S. citizens working abroad. You guys get to pick between those two. All right, so Fish says the top one. Deploy, what do you think? Isabella? Alyssa? Danny? What do you guys think? All 
All right, deploy. Our options are either modernize immigrant vetting proce uh, procedures or uh, tax cuts for U.S. citizens working abroad. That is true, Isabella. That is true. All right. Mr. President, I've got some de devastating news. Uh, here we go again. Bring it on, Mr. Ruiner. So our great country is losing the who's got the biggest Jesus race. Is there a Jesus race? What? Yes, sir. Many countries started building Jesus statues to show God and everyone else who's like the best, most faithful. Uh, everyone thinks God must love statues, I guess. We don't know that. He or she works in mysterious ways. That's true, so what about the race? Well, for some time, the biggest the Jesus statue was Christ the King erected in Poland. But then it was beaten by Jesus Butu Burkai. What the hell is Poland? Oh sh Um, okay, you make it sound like a monster movie. And lately China has entered the race. China? They didn't even care about Jesus for Christ's sakes. They care about being the best. They were as to help Brazil, whose Christ the Redeemer statue was also one of the biggest statues in the world. Oh, so China is helping Brazil make Jesus statues so big that it will make all the other countries and all the other Jesuses look so pale and so weak in comparison, like he did just after he got crucified? Exactly. Uh, either way, this is going to hurt us. Uh, good lord, we're going to need a bigger Jesus. This is so stupid. I don't know what to say. The U.S. won't take part in this dumb, expensive parody of a race. There we go. Is that your final decision? No, I suddenly... You know what? No, I suddenly want to build a bigger Jesus. Uh, I agree, but I must warn you, it'll cost a lot of money, and some people might even die on the construction site. Uh, I don't care about people. I don't care about money. I don't care about Jesus. Oh, this is just... Oh, boy. Which country loves Jesus the most? Christ the Colossal is a very cool Jesus statue erected in Brazil by Chinese construction robots. It is also supposed to be the biggest on the planet. Not gonna happen, said the U.S. president in his latest interview. We are entering the Jesus race for real, and I can assure you that American Jesus is gonna make every other Jesus look like a freaking hobbit. Oh my god. If there are space aliens out there, all they're thinking is what the hell are these people doing? Alright, so Mexico is about to lose the war. We're about to win. Alright, lads, you have another bill to sign. What are we gonna do with this bill? A new federal institution operating under the Department of Education is to be assembled. They shall be tasked with ensuring that American society will not suffer from the fallout of any emerging AI technology, regardless of whether it was developed internally or not. Do we approve or do we deny?
Okay, so we've got one fort, one against it. Anybody else? We gotta break the tie. That is true, if we don't, we get, we don't need Skynet. All right, we're gonna flip a coin. Heads for it, tails against it. It's heads, so we're for it. The future is artificial. True full-fledged artificial intelligence is just around the corner and we're not ready. Believe me, no amount of Hollywood blockbusters or sci-fi novels can prepare us for that. To help Americans cope with the dark dystopian future that lies ahead, the government created a new federal institution operating under the Department of Education that will minimize societal damage caused by AI. Alright, we're finished. We're ruined. Yeah, and all this before even 11 in the morning? A crisis chases crisis. Everything is falling into place. Only aliens are missing. Aliens? As it happens, there are already... Your pretty long honeymoon in the Oval Office is over. The people are already bored. They strike, whine, protest, plot against us. All right, what happened? Where to start with the bad news or the worst news? Let's start with the worst. Take a look at this one. It's tragic. Lake Michigan Naval Battle. People be serious. This is dangerous. Where do you even get cannons from? You're probably exaggerating. I'm not the one exaggerating. Okay, it even sounds interesting. They fired at each other from cannons mounted on decks of sailboats. About 50 armed civilian vessels. Okay, you're right. This is terrible. Uh, what's the other news? Please don't just laugh. This is serious. Sticky people. <laughs> Sticky people. Mysterious people stick themselves to exhibits with glue. What do you think? Oh god, what can I do with this? With this? Nothing. The milk has been spilled. However, you can proceed to the level of losses. How? Well, all the crises that affect you do not affect you. Directly. They mainly tarnish your image, but that's all. If you improve your image, these little slip-ups and all sorts of problems will flow over you faster. So, you know sometimes one good law can convince progressive or conservative crazies to join you? First of all, check what they expect. Sounds easy. Yeah, easy, huh? I hope so. I'll take care of it, no worries. How's our war doing? Oh my god, it's still going. Mexico, fucking surrender already. You want to talk to me, Mr. President? I sure do. You and I are going to have an erection of my friend. Oh, you and I are going to have an erection, my friend. What, what, what? I mean, we're going to erect the biggest, coolest Jesus statue. Oh. So it's about the Jesus race. How big is the biggest Christ at the moment? Somewhere around 165 feet. Hmm. Can't we just say that the Statue of Liberty was Jesus Christ all along? <laughs> Should be twice as big, dwarf the other statues. And then what does this one do? Oh, that hurt the economy. Are you absolutely sure, sir? There is nothing worse than a Jesus statue too big to even stand straight. It can be dangerous as hell. I don't care. I okay. Shit, you're right. I don't want anyone to get hurt. Jesus wouldn't hurt people for no reason. Make the huge... Okay, so you guys want to make the... Oh, there we go. That didn't work. 
Jesus statue collapses, dozens killed, a lot more injured. Our president is surely not very smart, but this time he did something so dumb and dangerous that he even managed to surprise me. He wanted to win the Jesus race so badly that he didn't even care about safety. And yesterday when the construction workers were trying to put a huge Jesus head on Lord's 140, I'm sorry, 140 feet body, the whole thing collapsed, killing more than 40 people and leaving 70 injured. This Jesus was kind of like you, Mr. President, a pure catastrophe. Well, we did make the hugest Jesus and instead it just kind of, you know, kind of collapsed. All right, where are we putting our points? Projects, where are we putting them? All right, so let's throw, you know what? I do this one. I do want to try to go for the nuke. So the rest we're going to throw into law because we've been kind of neglecting that. There we go. Okay. All right. So we have a few decisions for you lads. Education. We get extended scholarships, which I think everyone wanted. Private education. You guys want the scholarships, right? I'm assuming you guys want scholarships. Law enforcement, we get stricter police training regimes. Public space monitoring or judicial system efficiency reform. All right. What about for law enforcement? What are we doing with this one? Uh, deploy our options are stricter police training regimes, public space monitoring, or judicial system efficiency reform. All right, so we got one for the judicial system efficiency reform and one for public space. Isabella, you want to break the tie? Which one do we go for? Just all it is. We oh, have one more. Oh yeah. All right. So for war expender, like I said, I'm pretty certain we're kind of locked in. So we can either continue with space force or we can try to go for the big stick policy. Uh, which one do you guys want to go for? So our options are either space force, safety in numbers, or optical reconnaissance satellites.
All right, so Isabel says Space Force. The ploy says the nuke, which would be safety in numbers. All right, so Majority wants to try to go for the nuke, but I think we're kind of already screwed on that. Um, we're safety in numbers. War over yet? Oh, we won. We beat Mexico. We, we took over Mexico now. They're an ally. How's Cuba? Kind of tempted to invade Cuba. All right, so we got a new policy for you lads to. Starting today, we are entering into American Children's Week. I humbly ask all Americans to pay attention to the future of our nation and officials to evaluate related social and administrative issues. From the state of education, the children's families, and material situations. So, ladies and gentlemen, this bill, do we approve it or do we deny it? Isabel says to accept it. What else? What, what do you guys think? You're not wrong about that fish. You're not wrong at all. Majority says to accept, so I'm going to... Aggressive boobs of this is these are terrible boobs. They look like eyeballs. I don't know. I was trying to come up with something new. It didn't work. Oh, think of the children. The president just decided that this is an American Children's Week. We should all focus on both the needs and the future of the youngest generation. And you know what? I have two kids, boys. One is just five, and the other one is almost seven. They're the biggest assholes I've seen in my life. So, no, I won't celebrate Children's Week. Every week is already theirs. This'll be my week. Just fuck them. <laughs> Alright, so we need more ice. No, Fish wants more military, Isabella wants more education, so... Keep it fair, go two in each. As a National Space Council Chairman, I'm here to deliver good news, Mr. President. Is it connected with our human mission to Mars? Exactly. NASA has just been finished constructing the reusable space vehicle. Oh, that's great! We can initiate a human mission to Mars? Uh, there's a problem, sir. Each space flight has its launch period, and for Mars, it occurs every 52 months, and lasts for a few weeks. And the thing is that the launch window is supposed to open soon. Okay, what's wrong? Our scientists have observed a massive, so massive solar storms that will affect radiation on the Mars surface. This means the flight in the provided launch window will be hazardous for the crew during, due to ionizing radiation. Okay, what are the odds of them surviving? It's hard to predict, but I'd say the odds of them coming back and surviving are about 1 in 25. Yeah, yeah, we can't do that. I think that's a, a good call, sir. How do you feel about informing the media about the reasons for our failure? Let's do a press conference. All right, so I'm going to have to do this one because it's, yo, I got to be quick on the draw. All right, why don't you keep your promises? Um, I don't want to risk people's lives. Do you like Martian rovers? Yes, Oppie was a hero. Why was Mission Mars canceled due to safety reasons? Will you keep your other promises? I will try. Would you like to go into space? 
That would be an adventure. Do you think space travels are essential? Earth is more important. Really? Do you think that China will overtake us? No, they're not capable of this. Can you do more to act? I'm sorry. Could you do more than you actually did? Sure. People don't seem to like that. Do you feel that inventing reusable space was a waste of time? No, it'll be used in the future. Is it true that radiation would kill the astronauts? Probably. So we had no negative pushback from that, so that's good. Good morning, sir. Do you have a minute to talk? I just received an exciting phone call from Brussels. Please come in. Elaborate. It turns out that the European Union is working on a subsidiary budget for the next year, and they are interested in our extended scholarship program so much that they'd like to cooperate. Intriguing, what does this mean exactly? They would like us to expand the youth ex exchange initiatives and partner up with some Eastern European countries. In return, they offered to financially incentivize some countries to participate and cover a part of the costs of the exchange. Practically speaking, this would make the extended scholarship program cheaper to manage and return us some investment. All right, that's great news. Indeed, sir, but there's a catch. Though if we decide to cooperate on this, they still need to put it up for debate once they're discussing the budget. And I think that unless we maintain a good diplomatic relationship with the EU, the proposal might get shot down. If you decide we should still try, I leave you a reminder, sir. I think it's worth a shot. We'll do our best to play nice. Why would we not play nice? The EU is our ally. Oh, our military is not looking hot. Oh. Uh oh. Good morning, sir. I'm here to talk to you about one of your war material expender programs. Uh, but that's outside your competence, isn't it? You're correct, sir. But this is an exception, Mr. President. You've been very vocal lately, reminding Americans how lucky and safe they are to live in this beautiful country. Ah, uh, yes, as part of safety numbers program, I thought it was a success. It indeed is, but some of your citizens seem to have taken your words to heart. Have you seen the... Oh, no. Have you heard of hashtag suck it rocket man? What? No. It's another one of those internet challenges. This one demands that you record a short video provoking the leader of North Korea, hammering the point that the U.S. is entirely untouchable. It could be a better look for us, sir. What do you think? That sounds this sounds hilarious. Wait. I see what you mean. International politics is no joke. Either way, this is, this is going to hurt us. So, this sounds hilarious. Either way, I was hoping you could screech the, at your followers. In such cases, silence equals approval. Alright, I'm on it. Damn it, we should have nuked... Okay. You guys get the pick. How do we respond? Do we encourage it? Are we encouraging, sarcastic, serious, or condemning? Your call. Isabella wants to encourage it. Anybody out there for tiebreakers? We have one of each at this point. All right, it's so a sarcastic it is. Attention all Americans, please stop being mean and telling Rocket Man to suck it. It's mean and it might hurt his little feelings. Oh shit, okay, sorry, I didn't think about that. Senpai, no bullies, please. At this point, I can't even distinguish a fake screech from a real one. Is this all just one giant reality TV show? The drainage pipe told me to kill everyone named Stefan.
Alright, we gotta upgrade upgrade our military. We need more military. Alright. Raging alcoholic. The president of Comoros has drunkenly sent you an email filled with insults. To me? The shit poster in chief? I'll show him how it's done. I'll give him 24 hours to apologize. After that, all bets are off. Been there, done that. Your guys call. What do we do? So either we show him how it's done, we give him 24 hours to apologize, or we let it go. Alright, so right now majority is gonna say tops, so we're going for tops. That would though your response was rather low, bro, it did its job. The president of Kamaras is much more polite towards you now. Perhaps still feeling a bit embarrassed about his own behavior. Okay. Alright, so I definitely I'm I'm gonna take the reins on this one because we need to get our military up because we're actually losing military spending. Uh, which one's gonna help us more? All right, cool. Oh, we won. We, we won the war, Isabella. Cool, so we're, we're gonna start rebuilding our military. We're good now. We're in the clear. Yeah, we, we, we forced them Mexico to be our friends. Mr. President, I don't know if you're aware of it, but a bunch of people are waiting for you right now. What are they, my fans? Not quite, sir. Uh, actually, quite the opposite. They're journalists. Uh, journalists? A whole bunch of them? Just like... Yeah, it's a press conference. Your press conference, Mr. President. Alright, let's use my stump duddle. A stunt double. Does presidents have stunt doubles? No, you have to go right now. All right, guess I'll go. <laughs> Mr. President, you made us wait here for two hours. Do you hate the press conference or what? Uh, I hate being here. No, I love them. How are your current political de decisions affecting your family? I think they're all very sad and disappointed. They're more than happy and supportive. Some of your recent statements made me think you were high and drunk. Am I right? No, that's how I. That's just how I roll. Do you think the media's on your side? Uh, by every word. I did good. How are we doing, actually? Oh, politics. We've actually sunk, so we need to fix that. Industry is sinking. Industry and politics is where we're failing. So we're going to have to get that back up somehow. Oh, what is Brazil one? There are rumors of a mysterious and deadly illness affecting the population of Brazil. Our options, lads. Better safe than sorry. Let's take all possible precautions. Berate the officials for not commentating on this worrying situation. Or, if localized, we have no reason to panic. Your call. Chat, what do we do? Are we going to go better safe than sorry? Berate the officials, or... Don't worry about it.
All right, well, we got one and one. So you know what that means. We're flipping a coin. Heads for top, tails for bottom. Flipping that coin, and it drops on tails. We're going to berate the officials. Good to see you, sir. One of the, the last sane people on this planet, in my opinion. It's madness out there. Well, normal, everyday madness or some new form of madness. Extended cut edition. It's a new form of madness, sir, but based on our everyday heavy mental state, nonetheless. Please elaborate. The Bible, sir. They're remarking the Bible. Rewriting. And people are freaking out. Uh, okay, who are they? How dare they? Either of these options probably. Okay. The writers, the creators, maybe even the whole goddamn entertainment industry. I don't know. Someone is doing it. Someone dares to rewrite it. There we go. Okay. But should we accept what is happening or should we fight? Um. Fuck. Damn it. Alright, that hurt us. Don't you hate me for some reason? Forgive my intrusion, sir. I promise I won't take too much of your time. Good morning to you, too. To the point, I need your opinion regarding one of the programs you launched. Uh, Bridge the Gap. Alright, what about it? You see, sir, we've contracted by several companies interested in sourcing some of their components from, well, the U.S. Army. And we soon realized that our offer is most interesting for children's clothes and toy manufacturers. What? In hindsight, it's not that surprising, sir. High-precision CNC machines are perfect for the production of stunningly realistic toy guns or no new whole line of military fashion made from very realistic fabric. It's a win-win for both sides. But I just wanted to ask you personally, would you be okay with more toddlers playing soldier? We need... Yeah, okay, so... Okay, um... Absolutely. Isn't that what boys do? Increase the military. Absolutely. F you, Mr. President. Oh, okay. You're the one who claimed it's okay for toddlers to wear military uniforms as onesies and to play with very real-looking weapons at the age of one. So you're the one responsible for what happened. My son Calvin was growing up so faster than his peers when... He was 11 months old. He started writing essays about the state of American democracy, challenges of globalization, and the doomed generation he felt he was part of. I was sure he had a bright future ahead. Too bad I did not foresee what would happen next. One day, Kelvin ordered some machine guns online. Wait. He's 11 months old. How did he order a fucking machine gun? Okay, and went on a shooting spree on his way to the nursery. Many people died, Kevin included. If it weren't for your stupid decision, our boy would be going to college. He's 11 months old! He will not be going to college, he's a fucking toddler! Today would have been his second birthday, but I'll take my cake to his grave. Thanks to you, asshole. Absolutely. Absolutely, fish. I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. President, but this new thing is already trending on Screecher. What thing? Why is it trending? Am I missing out by not knowing what the trend is right this second? You're scaring me. Yes, Mr. Set. Yes, sir. I was gonna say Mr. President, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Not living in the moment means being stuck in the past. We don't want that. So tell me more. Should redheads be allowed to sing Christmas songs? Well, there are many factors to consider. I don't mind redhead women singing Christmas songs in December, but a red-haired guy singing that kind of song during the summer holidays makes me want to... Wait, sir, don't tell me. This is... Tell us the millions of people. Okay, so we're gonna go with Screecher. <coughs> a 
All right, are we going serious, funny, outrageous, or weird? You lads vote. Alright, majority says weird, we're going weird. Deep inside, we're all redheads. I mean, our blood is red, right? W what? Tires screeching, president screeching. <laughs> what a stupid thing to say. Ah, uh, yeah, people didn't seem like that one too much. Alright, um. Alright, lads, so we are at that time where we end the stream. I think for funsies, let's go ahead and invade Cuba. Cuba. All right. Um, gonna end today. Oh, actually, we have to throw these in. I'm just gonna throw this in real quick. Uh, sure, why not? I'm just I'm just gonna run through a couple things real really fast. Oh yeah, we do need to get industry and politics up, don't we? Um, oh, that really hurt us? Okay. Shit. Eh, whoopsies. Alright, lads, but that is all the time I have for this one. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, we'll probably get back to this for the next stream. I'm honestly... Like, Resident Evil is just right around the corner, so I'm actually just throwing stuff out there just to kill time in between the two. So, I thought this would just be a fun one. If you guys want to do more of this, let me know in the comment section. See, Fish, I know. I, to I totally goofed that. But we won. Cuba is still an authoritarian regime, but we've we've taken over Cuba. So, we won. That was easy. But listen, Fish, on the bright side, we now have Mexico and Cuba as an ally. And Canada's an ally of ours. If we can keep our military up, we can just take over. But anyway, ladies and gents, that is all I have. Thank you everyone so much. I hope you've enjoyed. Any activity you leave on these videos helps out tremendously. It keeps us alive in the algorithm. It helps our channel grow, and I appreciate the help. If you want to come hang out with us, we've got Discord. We've got Gilded. If you want to do things other than YouTube, we've got Odyssey. And now, we've got Rumble. Those are options. So, I will see you lads around the next one. Thank you everyone so much. Love you all. Have a fantastic night, everybody. See you around the next one.